right, quick pre-game beer review. Woo! All right, it's the home opener for Florida State. They're playing down in Tallahassee, and they're playing Notre Dame. Um, it's a house divided. Yes, Suzanne is a FSU alum, so, you know, we've gone to a few Notre Dame uh, FSU matchups in the past. Mm -hmm. And I go to a Florida State game pretty much every year. I think last year is the only year I've missed since I graduated. Yes. And that was a few COVID. <laughs> so, all right. I think Notre Dame is ranked ninth. Or actually, they moved up because they re they just put out the rankings again. I'm after not all buying these teams any of these fucking rankings. Everybody, everybody had weird seasons last year. And well, I don't know how garbage. Uh, fucking Clemson is still ranked higher than Georgia. That's a yeah. bunch of horseshit. What is that? They dropped so, one spot, and yeah. then the team that kicked the shit out of them stayed at five? Fuck you, ESPN. Get off Clemson's tit. Yes. So. All I can say is that I'm very pleased that Tim Tebow got released by the Jaguars because if Trevor Lawrence threw a touchdown pass to Tim Tebow, ESPN would jizz all over America. True. And we would never hear anything but that. They set that guy up for failure. You can't be a lifetime quarterback and then expect to play tight end in the NFL. Tim Tebow got a raw deal. They should have brought him in as a uh, gimmick quarterback, yeah, like in his first year at Florida. Stayed as a commentator or gone to work in a mega church or some shit. Or yeah. So anyway, all right. So we have another local brew, uh, D9, and they have a couple locations. We have been to the one in digging the canard. Yes. Headless Horseman, very spooky. It is called Head of the Horseman Imperial Pumpkin Ale. It is a ten percenter, and it's quite the whopper. Yum. We've had it. We've had it last year, and I believe the year before that. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a local location in Charlotte now, but we went to the one in Lake Norman, if I'm was, not mistaken. They didn't have that one back then. That was way back in the day when we, they just had the one location. Yeah. So. So we went. That was part of the brew card thing that we have discussed in the past. Yes. Cake, you want to get in on this? She does. She's my root for Florida State. Yes. And then Oscar looks just like Chief Osceola for a renegade the horse. It's fine, so. Yes. These are my noble dogs. Well, I'm sure they'll have a wonderful show. It's hard to tell with the first game of the year, so I'm not going to make any predictions. Notre Dame is favored by seven, but that could easily be a three or one point victory or maybe a loss. I don't know. It's Notre Dame. So there's no way to tell. They've disappointed me so many times in the last... Mm, I'm banking on that disappointment. 20 years or so, so... All right, so... I warmed up my pipes for singing the, the fight song. Yay. Don't you want to go to bed early? Shut up. I took a nap. Mm. All right, so it is a very... It's not as dark as you would think for it being as high ABV as it no, is. No, it's, it's not a nice a amber. Or anything like that. It is just an imperial ale. It doesn't have a strong boozy uh, scent to it. It does at all. have a strong pumpkin scent. Pumpkin though. scent. It smells very much like Not when boozy, you open though. a can of pumpkin. Yeah. Oh, that's very good. That is not bitter at all. Uh, maybe a, a, a tiny bit. It's a, a, the boozeness comes through on the, on the second half. Yeah, that's fine, but it's delicious. It is. What is this brewed with? It's 10% mm -hmm. pumpkin, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, and cardamom. Mm hmm. So. That is very good. It is. This is delicious. Mm. Let's sit here and pound this fucker and well, we're not hope that I don't cry that. tears of real sadness for Florida State not playing well. I don't know. Florida State also has two quarterbacks. You know, Notre Dame has a graduate transfer from Wisconsin that was hurt all last year, so we'll see how that goes. Yay, Badgers. Yeah, we'll see. But uh, should be a good game, no matter mm -hmm. what. I do think that Notre Dame will win. I don't know if they'll cover the spread. Maybe it'll be a blowout. Maybe yeah. I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. But uh, this is very good. It's very smooth for the, as high a yeah, alcohol you, content. Yeah, if you as tasted it, it and didn't know it was a ten percent, or I don't think you would you guess that. Guess You'd it. probably guess eight. Yeah, I mean all of, I mean all of these beers, no matter what, are a high yeah. alcohol percentage. I mean, I remember when Ice House came out, like back in the late eighties, early nineties. It was like, oh, five point nine percent. People are gonna fucking die. Yeah, no. Like they have ten, twelve. That one IPA that you had to pour out was like a 14% or something like that. It's like grain alcohol. So yeah. all of these uh, craft brews are high or higher in alcohol content. So. We got intended. Yeah. I mean, going back to a, a 
Coors Light or a Bud Light or some crappy piece of shit like that that's around 4% as I drink it numb. So what do you rank this? This is very good. This mm -hmm. is going to be in the 8s for me. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say like 8.4. That's going to go 8.6. I like it. Yes. So, is that a review? That is a review. Go Knowles. Go Irish. Knowles. Irish. What is that? You're doing the chop, fucker. That's the, that's the Atlanta Braves chop. Um, Florida State's been around since before the Braves, so turn this fucking thing off and goodbye. Go Irish.